Alright guys, this is it. This is it, the last story. A few more cutscenes, one more big level, one infamous moment, one more boss, and the end of the game. Are you ready for this, folks? I most certainly am. Let's just get into it. Okay. Sonic! Finally, the seal is broken. At long last, I'll be able to join with you. Airbless! Now, Chaos Emerald. It's time for the final curtain call. On. Is this because of that light? The Chaos Emerald has disappeared. Silver? What are you doing here? This is all so confusing. It's all because of Solaris. It seems we were all caught by the spatial distortion.
Iblis's seal has been broken. Due to Mephilus's manipulation. Sonic! No. You don't think... Sonic! Mephilus played us all for fools. His plan all along was to cause the princess to be so consumed with despair that she'd cry. So that's why he wanted me to kill Sonic before. Solaris! This creature will consume all existing timelines, and time itself will collapse and disappear into nothingness. The instability of time caused this time-space rift. It won't remain for much longer. We've no time to waste! We've got to defeat it now! No, it is a transcendent life form that exists in the past, present, and future. Defeating it here, now, would do nothing. No, I won't give up. There has to be a way. If you say it exists in the past, present, and future, I'll destroy them all at once. Certainly. It might have been possible if he was still alive. the matter I feel Sonic's presence in the wind I don't think he's dead yet I'm sure of it it's not too late of course let's call him back with the power of the chaos emeralds Focus your thoughts on using its power to perform this miracle. You can do it, Princess. I can? You were the vessel that was used to seal Iblis. You should be able to use the gem's power to rescue Sonic's soul. Solaris flung the Chaos Emeralds to the distant corners of this distorted world. To collect them all in time, we'll have to split up. I'll go too. Because it's for Sonic. So Elise, watch over him. Dear Lord, that was a lot of plot. <laughs> a lot of plot. Sonic dies, Iblis is freed, Solaris is reborn, and freaking everything goes out of whack. And we're not even in this part of the stage, neither. This is just the central thing of Soliana, and we don't even get to go there. Only in the cutscene did they actually go there. Oh well. So now it's time for the worst level in the game. <laughs> This is the end of the world, this stage is. So, the main gimmick of this stage is that we have to get all seven Chaos Emeralds as seven characters. Seven Emeralds, seven characters. So, the main gimmick of this uh, level is those time hole, those time rift thingy-mabobs that keep on happening. 
The red ones will shoot out objects at you. The purple ones will suck you in. And if you touch any of them, instant death. Nope, no joke. Instant death if you touch them. Be very careful. The way to stall these time rifts is by activating that statue I just touched. This statue right here, the owl statue from Majora's Mask, apparently. So yeah, the Chaos Emerald is right there. However, I want to arm myself with lives. I'm going to arm myself with lives here just because I don't want to freaking get a game over and I have to start this entire last story all over again from the beginning. And yeah, that was a le that was a loading screen. So what? <laughs> yep. This level is long for a very good reason. Because each section has its own loading screen. Because we're going through different stages as different characters. Like, for example, we, we're going through Crisis City as Tails. And then we're going through Flame Core as Omega. And I know that was dangerous, but I don't care. That And that's what happens when Omega dies. <laughs> yep. Doesn't matter how many rings you have at that point. Instant death if you touch the purple time holes. Nothing you can really do about that except die. Just die. Oh, and here's something that I actually didn't mention about the things until now. The uh, one-ups until now. Um, you can only get one of them per stage, so... Quite frankly, you can only get one of them at a time. Really. Oh yeah, and also the time rifts will work will kind of work in your favor as the time rifts can screw enemies over at will. So, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> anyway, we're nearing the end of Omega's section here. Obviously, I don't really care if the time rifts get freaking huge at this point. Let's just end Omega's section right here. So, oh no, we have to explore this very large section of End of the World Tropical Jungle as Knuckles. The Chaos Emerald's right over out. The Chaos Emerald's right over there, where I'm flying to. <laughs> Again, just like with Rouge, Rouge's Tropical Jungle, you can easily cheese this level, this part of the End of the World as Knuckles, because you can fly. So now we have Dusty Desert as Silver. So now we actually get to explore the outside of Dusty Desert as Silver. In a way, I guess. So anyway, Silver's, Silver's section at End of the World is probably the most strenuous out of all of them because, well, you run so slow that, well, I'll just talk about it as we go along this part right here. Unfortunately, though, we don't have anything that can easily slow down this section for us, no. All we have is that teleport dash, unfortunately. Here's a pro tip for you if you're going if you're trying to complete this section as silver as fast as you can. Pro tip. You have to teleport dash. Use it. And just ignore everything else. Because those purple time rifts right there. Silver is is so slow, in fact, that the time rifts nearly get him. Yeah, and it sucks. It sucks. Yeah. But yeah, just literally and mentally sucks, because Silver is such a slow character that the time rifts nearly almost get him in a way. He's he's almost no faster than the suction of those of those purple time rifts. Just seriously. Seriously, why? Just why? Oh god. Okay, so now we're coming up to the last part right here. So Let's get the fourth Chaos Emerald with Silva. Right. Sonic, here I come. The Chaos Emeralds, where are they? Yes, where are they indeed, Rouge? Where are they indeed? So here we are in Rouge's section of End of the World, Wave Ocean. Which, again, just like with Knuckles' Tropical Jungle, we're Rouge. We can fly. We can easily cheese this entire section, no problemo, because we have the ability ith to flyeth. Much better than Knuckles, and yet... something. <laughs> and 
Anyway, if you actually allow the time refs to freaking grow as strong as they want, they actually look pretty cool. Look at that. Look at this shit. It's like Sauron up in here, except he's purple and not red. Uh, playing as Amy in Watercropolis for the sixth emerald. Well, at the very least, the music's nice, I'll guarantee that. Yeah, End of the World pretty much has one of my favorite songs in the game. Well, if you listen to it from the soundtrack, it just progresses further and further and then completely changes to this theme. Instead of... And... And stuff, stuff, stuff. <laughs> I don't know what to say, except this theme is actually pretty awesome. And kind of fitting for the situation in terms of theming. Because it's a race against time to save the one that Amy loves. From Amy's perspective. So, from a character and theming perspective, this track is actually pretty nice. But what's not nice is the fact that you have to kill these enemies and... Yeah, ah. Uh, yeah, Amy's reach with the Pico Pico Hammer is just that bad. My advice, just ignore all the enemies and just dash your way to the Emerald as slow as you can. And this is the part where I die. <laughs> yep, no matter how many times I played this stage, this part of the stage, I always somehow die and have to lose all my points, but you know what? That's fine. There's no hub worlds to explore, nothing real, nothing really to do here except just to get to the end of the level without having... Okay, thank you. <laughs> I find it kind of hilarious that the eagle is not affected by any sort of anything by the time rifts whatsoever. Oh, God. Yep, no matter how many times I replay the stage, I always die at this part, thereby making me lose my S rank entirely. And yes, there is an achievement for you for doing all the all of the last story, meaning both the level and the boss just ah god. Just this game, man, just this game. Oh boy. Anyway, I have to make it through this as quickly as possible because I know there's gonna be that one cheap section of end of the world that I always freaking almost die upon. It's this crap right here. Where this time whip will spawn like near the owl statue thingamabob. And you barely get sucked in there before you reach that thing. That section is just so unfair. Yep. Finally a thing where I think it's unfair. <laughs> Well, I can't really blame him. This level is kind of unfair first time playing through, but once you really get down to it, you can... I mean, yeah, if you made it this far in the game, you can make it by through anything. Just, you can make it by through anything. And that's it. For End of the World. I don't care what rank I get here. I don't care if it's a B rank. Just let me go through here. Thank God. So with that, next time on Let's Play Sonic 06, it's the end of the, it's the final boss. But nah, I wouldn't leave the most infamous part of the game in the in for 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 you guys to do. You won't have to wait until tomorrow because I will show it off right here, and it's for glory. O oh, Chaos Emeralds, Gems of Miracles, please heed my call. I wish to save this world. I wish to cleanse my father's sin, and I wish to talk to Sonic once again. You have given me so many things. Now it is my time to return the favor. I care not what happens to me, but please heed my voice. Sonic, come back to me, to us. 
Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes! Don't mind me, I'm just sitting here smiling at the fact that all you guys are freaking freaking out at this moment. 